Maria and Anastasia. We are going to highlight the women in the 154 Contemporary African Art Fair. Please join us in our tour. years old. We had the chance to start in 2013 and the mission of 154 was to create a platform for artists coming from the African continent and the African diaspora. So we're really happy that after four years of very hard work we're able to present 40 galleries coming from all over the world with more than 150 artists coming from the African continent and the African diaspora. This year, um, you know, taking over some asset house in places we never did before. For example, the fountain, um, the installation in the fountain is one of our special projects, which was a commission of this fantastic Caribbean descent artist called Zakove. We've been very sensitive about the feeling of artists but also of the perception of the public towards what we're doing and what we're really happy about is seeing that you know I think we proved ourselves they know it's a very good platform for promotion and visibility and um, I think we all okay with you know being a focus art fair on contemporary African art it's probably really e easier than just doing it you know without backup every woman is able to do what a man is able to do and I always feel a bit strange to celebrate women when they succeed because it means that we're very surprised that they do, which I don't think that, you know, there's a surprise there. We know they can do it. It just it seems to be a surprise for the men or for the rest of the world. But us as a woman, we should stop celebrating women, you know, succeeding because it is a fact now. We succeed. <laughs> so we definitely need to embrace it and, you know, move forward and maybe celebrate other things, you know. <laughs> Art. <laughs> Art, exactly. <laughs> Um, being here at the art fair has been amazing. I've met so many women. Uh, Toria has done a wonderful job. Um, this is the first art fair the Gallery 1957 has done. Um, it's been an honor to be a part of it and to have the opportunity to meet so many women. Like Toria, what she's done here for me, like talking to her with all the work that she has to put in, meeting with donors and getting people to fund it and meeting with various people from the gallery. It's just been, it's been amazing. She's someone that I definitely aspire to. Being a, a woman in an emerging art market is just, I think it's the, it's, I am honored to have the opportunity and to be a part of it and to be a part of the people that are bringing, developing this space for future generations to come. In the past six months, it's been an amazing learning experience. The learning curve has been ridiculously, ridiculously sharp. So we're working in a market where, um, at least in Ghana, for instance, in as much as there is a collector base, they are more familiar with traditional art. At least on the African continent, we need to begin to build bridges and borders and broaden the market base and stop being move away from being um, little pockets, individual pockets that are, that are trying to make it and to just come together and broaden the market base and improve the African art market because that's where, that's where everyone is looking right now. The gallery is established in Seattle and has been open since 2012 with a focus on contemporary African art and photography. Um, since its beginning, we have been um, altering artists who are emerging and internationally um, acclaimed. We are presenting four artists, and the artists are mostly female artists, coming from Senegal, Italy, um, Ghana, Germany, and um, South Africa. And there is one special uh, work that I'm presenting here for the first time. The work of um, a couple, German and Kenyan, who have decided to fuse to create uh, their own um, art practice and to, be, to become sort of a one artist. I was also very um, inspired by, you know, the, the the woman and their contribution to, to the artist. So there's not a time, there's not an age. It's just to have this consistency and, 
and to, to have a, a long-term vision of where you, you want or your artist you, you, know, you want them to be. But it's, it's nice to have a strategy and it's probably what kept me going. My mother has uh, been an art dealer for 30 years. Uh, I, she always wanted me to continue running the gallery. It's obvious that we, from outside, we think that the art world is, uh, is mainly uh, driven by uh, women, but it's not uh, the case. It's, uh, it's uh, still a, a male-dominated uh, business. Uh, when it comes to artists, I think uh, for women artists, they have, uh, they have the possibility actually to show their work more, to, uh, to push the boundaries further. Uh, because now there's more and more opportunities for women. I always think that good work should have equal uh, response and equal um, feedback uh, because at the end of the day it's really about the quality of the work and the message that uh, the artists want to uh, uh, give out to the public. We here uh, have three uh, uh, artists, the three of them are Tunisian. Uh, Nina Berjab and Raja Issa. There's different faces to the, to the business and you need to be uh, able to uh, connect all these uh, tasks together to be successful. Definitely these artists, they need to uh, push the boundaries, they need to really uh, push it to fulfill their dreams. But it's obviously possible and I always believe that it's all about the quality of the work you're showing and how much you believe in, in, in your practice.